Hey everyone, Sam Cinarelli, HOM Fencing. Welcome back to Ikenaz Armory. Today we're going to go over chest plates, specifically the new chest plate rule for foil. Um, a lot of people have known that we have a new rule that the for foil only, the chest plate, if worn by all females and some males, must be covered with a soft, squishy material uh, as, that's right now glued over the plastic plate. Um, the reason for this is due to the ramifications of the timing change, which was in, I think, 2005. Prior to the timing change, any break of circuit on like a flick in foil would fire the light. If you hit the shoulder and it's kind of flat against the lame, but it jiggles and breaks contact, the side that tips into contact with the lame, light's going to go off. They change it to have to have the circuit down and broken for at least 15 milliseconds. What some people did was to take a regular chest plate, meaning it doesn't have the foam covering on it, where it below, just below the lame, between the lame and the jack, it bounced off real quick, right? It wouldn't bounce off quick, it bounced off too quick, wouldn't fire the light. Some people would respond by drilling their opponent real hard, so it had to take a long time for the point to bounce back. That wasn't good. Then he required it to be worn under the jacket to add more cushioning uh, and to lengthen what's called the debounce time. For some reason, they thought that wasn't enough, so they're requiring the foam pad padding on the, on the chest plate uh, to lengthen the debounce time and make it more fire more reliably. Uh, again, this is for foil only. does not apply to epee and saber because circuits are different. Uh, a note on how it must be worn. Per the rules that came out from USFA, this goes on first, then the underarm protector. It must be under the, uh, the underarm. Um, they have to have the little FIE tag on this. It's not really FIE, uh, FIE, really FIE gear but it has a stamp to show it's been made in accordance with the rules, it's not really been homologated. Um, if you have hubcaps, uh, they don't make these. You can, you can um, retrofit them at, by yourself as long as the armor is approved. Uh, check USFA uh, for that. There is on the news page, I think it's page two. Uh, it's, it's dealt with in there. Um, I'll probably try to put it on my website uh, in the near future as a reference, h1fenchon.com. Uh, but that's it for the chest plates. Again, foil only. Have to have the foamy on it. If you wear it, boys and girls, and it has to be worn under the plastron. So you have shirt, chest plate, underarm protector, jacket, lame. As always, happy armoring.